Bunny Bin, and today we're going to be doing Tasty Tuesdays, and I am making cauliflower burger buns um, with turkey burgers. So, this is what the buns look like. You can see here, that's kind of what it looks like, and of course, I'm going to be doing my own little thing. I'm making... Uh, now, why am I not making my intro in the kitchen? Because Unique's home today. Of course, it's Labor Day. I'm recording on Labor Day. This is our little Labor Day homemade barbecue or something like that. But we're about to go in the kitchen. I just had to pull up my recipe. I don't think I'm going to take my computer in there. I was just trying to see um, my ingredients. But, yeah. We're going to make these buns and these burgers. And I'll show you what else I made on the side. But I'm only focusing on the burger today. I'm not going to show you how I make everything, but um, we're going to eat it with some vegetarian baked beans and some quinoa, broccoli, and cheese. If you want to see how to make the quinoa, broccoli, and cheese, comment below, and I will do that on another video. So here I'm using some cauliflower frozen from Kroger. This is rice cauliflower. I used about half of a bag for this recipe. Here I'm going to use some cornstarch, one tablespoon of cornstarch, um, just to give it a little bit more thickness to make sure that um, I have a little bit of texture for my bread and they're not so flat for my buns. So get out of my cornstarch then I just added um, some chili powder just a little splash I don't measure seasonings because you know I just look at the color how colorful I want it to be and this shredded cheese is non-dairy I use about a cup and a half um, of this cheese but it was frozen it was not melted it was shredded so it wasn't a full cup but it was just a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of um, help it stick together a little bit more as the cheese melts. So finally, I'm adding in two eggs. I didn't scramble the eggs first, I just mixed them in as the whole egg. You can scramble, beat the egg first and then add it to the mixture, but I didn't do that. Of course I do my own thing <laughs> and here I am mixing it up mixing it all together and by the way I did um, put the cauliflower rice in the microwave for maybe about three minutes or so just so it was not cold and frozen and it kind of gave made it a little softer before um, cooking it so that is also an option you can do So I didn't think my mixture was thick enough so I decided to take a cup of raw almonds and put it in the blender to make almost like an almond flour kind of tech thing going on. This may not be the way you do it but this is what I did. So I put it in the blender and I put it on um, grind and chop. I let it grind and chop for maybe about a minute or until I stopped seeing whole little thick whole pieces popping up and down. <laughs> And finally, I took my pan. Well, actually, first I add the flour to the mixture that I already had. And I just stirred that in. I stirred all of that inside. Getting all of it from the bottom. Mix, 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 mix it up, mix it up, mix, mix, mix it up, mix, 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 mix. So I stirred that very thoroughly, made sure everything was all blended, um, and there you have it. So finally, I laid a, a layer of foil on my pan. I used some margarine here to just kind of layer it. The margin actually didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. It actually still kind of stuck to the pan. 
but maybe next time I will use some nonstick spray or something like that because I like the way that the buns came out besides them sticking to the to the pan but here I just took my tablespoon I took about maybe a tablespoon and a half to measure and then I shaped them into like rounds as I laid them on the pan this is a smaller pan so only about four fit on this pan but in total I made about seven of these little um, rounds cauliflower bun rounds <laughs> and yeah that's about it so I put the oven on 425 um, and then by towards closer to the end I turned it up a little bit to like 475 because at that time I started to make my hamburgers my turkey burgers and I put them in the oven as well to let them stay warm I just wanted them to be colored on the outside now I'm going to plate the food so here are the buns you see at the inside how they got stuck to the pan so I had to like cut them off turkey burger with the cheese on top um, I melted the cheese I used baby spinach to um, as my greens and I also added a fried egg on to that and I got the ketchup and mustard but I let Unique put her own ketchup in, on there oh we didn't put mustard but there's the burger and there you have it a little flatbread and with this I, as I told you guys earlier we ate baked beans with it I just picked them in the pan um, nothing special and then after that I use cauliflower not cauliflower um, quinoa broccoli and cheese and I put it back in the oven because I wanted the cheese to melt a little more but that cheese just doesn't get dark and crunchy like I wanted to the broccoli quinoa and cheese there and there you have it the cauliflower bun turkey burger with baked beans and quinoa and thanks for watching.